Your opinion's not valid anymore. What? I simply can't go over there. I don't love reputation. Is she a real Swifty? It's a skip. A, a skip? Oh, wait. Oh my god. Harry Styles. What are we talking about? We're a part of a cult, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Welcome back to the Be Free Show, everybody. My name is Brian Tarada, and today we are asking the question, do all Swifties think the same? My name is Avery, and I have been a Swifty since before Kanye interrupted her at the VMAs. My name is Cole. I've been a Swifty since the release of read the stolen version. My name is Brian. I've been a Swifty since her iconic performance with Nicki at the VMAs. My name is Sloan and I've been a Swifty since 1989. My name is Rakir and I've been a Swifty since... I actually don't know why I'm here. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I've been a Swifty since the folklore era. My name is Adam and I've been a Swifty since Cats. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Best tour is the Eras tour. <laughs> Whoa, okay, Avery, hot take. You don't like the Eras tour? I love the Eras tour. I'm just neutral on this one. I've been to every tour since Fearless. I Whoa, went wow. to wow. Speak Now Red, 1989, Reputation, and Eras. Not to flex or anything. <laughs> right, but, right. Um, <laughs> I do think this is definitely the biggest tour. Most production goes into it. It's the longest tour. It's the most iconic tour. Everyone's talking about it. But at the same time, I still think that she's always put the same effort into her tours as she put into Eras tour. But I feel like Eras, she's just being a lot more appreciated for it and it's being recognized a lot more, but not necessarily the best. I can agree with that one. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, would, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, I would think that with the Eras tour, obviously it's amazing, and she's going through like every single album is pretty crazy. But I think as a structure, reputation was just so 10 out of 10. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> the transitions from A the to B. You, you, right, 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 right. Like watching that whole movie back, I'm just like, wow. This, that's I think Reputation lends itself to be a very mm -hmm. fun tour, like just the album itself. Mm -hmm. I do really love the 1989 tour. I think it was just so fun with all of the special guests. Like that was so iconic, mm -hmm. but I don't know. There's something so special about Eras. It's hard to compare them just because it's her entire career in one show. Like right. how is that not going to top every other tour that she's done? Like, yes, production wise, you know, they're all pretty equal, I'd probably say, but it's just with all of her music and I feel like the energy of that crowd was different than any show I've ever been in. What shows have you been to, Sloan? I've actually only ever been to the Red Tour. I begged my parents to go to 1989 and they said no. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think her hair looks the best in this one. <laughs> <laughs> She's always on a bit of a hair journey. I think 1989 was a bit gutted for that the hair. That was a tough time of hair. Tough. Tough. Yeah. Um, she wasn't as confident as herself. She wasn't as yeah. confident you can, you can feel that. Um, I just think that Eras tour is like, I mean, it encapsulates her entire career. So like, say, the Red tour, like, a lot of your songs that you really want to hear might be left out. Mm -hmm. um, and right unless you're a debut stan, yeah. and then if you're a debut stan, yeah. then you're, so you're out of luck. <laughs> you're just out of luck. Anything before that didn't have Midnight's, and I'm like a Midnight's right. girly. So it's Whoa. like, I just can't, Im yeah, I just can't imagine not seeing that live. Also, if you're a real Swifty, like, you want to hear everything. You don't want to just hear one album. I want to hear a little bit of everything. This one just has better dancers, better outfits. I like the whole thing. And also the newer fans or people who didn't get a chance to go to their tour. It's like yeah. you get that experience yeah. to see those live yeah. and to, yeah. It's a different vibe right now, honestly, with everyone that isn't a Swifty is a Swifty now. Yeah. Everyone got on the train. I, yeah. I just like it so much better. Yeah. It's a legitimate cultural reset. Yeah. Actually, I was a fan since Folklore, so then I went and revisited all her other music. I'm like, wow. And then I'm getting to experience Red Live, Fearless Live. You got two of the best surprise songs. You know, you I, don't know, I don't want to hear I don't want to hear Right, <laughs> right. She's mad. Wait, what surprise songs did you get? I got <laughs> Death by a Thousand Cuts, The Bridge, Iconic, and You're On Your Own, Kid. Whoa. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I know y'all mad. It's also a cultural reset because there was such a period where it was cool and it was trendy to hate Taylor during yeah. right, right. the drama with you know who. No. So I feel like now people are starting to realize that there's so much more beyond that drama and they're kind of blinded by that negative press. I'm here for it. I love new Swifties and I love that everyone's starting to love Taylor. I feel like you tell time with like before the Eras tour and after the Eras tour. E. Like that's how, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Travis Kelsey is Taylor Swift's best boyfriend. Oh I just think it's too early to tell. 
Are they what? even dating? I don't know. I they're like they're, they're dating. They're, they're so dating. Each other. They're, they're talking. Right, right, right. He's definitely the most like handsome in a while. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so big and burly. <laughs> He's so the revenge boyfriend though. He's he just the revenge, revenge boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. Wait, how do you guys feel about Maddie Healy? Uh, or is that I can't? We don't feel anything. Okay. <laughs> you don't feel anything. Boo! Boo! Wait, how do you feel? I like I like the 1975. <laughs> I do too, but just some of the statements just problematic. Right. Sure. He's just a little problematic. Sure. sure. I don't love that for Taylor because I feel like it makes people. She's too big to have. If her that boyfriends kind of are problematic, people see it as her being problematic. Totally. The think pieces are too much. A thousand percent. Was the Ice Spice collab a publicity stunt? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Right now, it seems like he's the best because she's so happy with him. But it's like every boyfriend, mm -hmm. we've loved him at the beginning, most of them. Right. 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 And then they turn on us. So it's their relationship. She might just be having fun. She might want to marry him. It's like, we don't, yeah. we don't Honestly, know yet. That, we don't know yet. That's so fair because I mean, like everybody loved Joe and then uh, literally overnight. <laughs> yeah. He's done. He's done. He's done. I, I never liked Yogurt him to begin with. Boy. One thing with Joe is he was never comfortable with her fame and like being right, out right, about, right. and Travis is clearly very like open to the public eye and he likes the fame and yeah. he's having fun with it and he's used to the press and he's used to the negativity. So I feel like he's, yeah. he gets it more. And he also good. respects like her, where she like her boundaries he knows she's like better yeah. right because like he spoke about <laughs> on his podcast as well he was just like um this is gonna be the last time i'm gonna speak about her because it's what she like wants we don't even know if they're actually dating so there's that factor but also like taylor lautner was so good to her you know what i mean i feel like he's the, the precious little he's the best ex yeah and he's been so supportive of her so yeah. i feel like i have to give him some he's married some props though. he's married i like tom hiddleston i don't know i feel like i feel like he was the best like all-around boyfriend i like calvin i just I love Calvin. I love Calvin. I love his he's music. Yes. They liked being messy on Twitter and everything. She fun. she likes a messy boyfriend and she likes being in the public. I just feel like not a single song about him. Yeah, I'm just curious like what he brings to the what table. What did he do? I don't, I don't know. know. Honestly, 1989 Vault songs. Uh, I'm so excited. Oh wait. Oh my God. Harry Styles. This is yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? He was low key toxic to her. Uh, he's toxic. Cause you're fine. you're a Harry Stan too, right? Obviously. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think he's kind of boring. I hate that, but that's fine. I feel like he thinks he gives exciting because he like puts on a dress. Uh -huh. But I think no. it's not very exciting. I don't He's know. not doing enough? He's no, not doing enough. I don't think so. I have never disliked any music that Taylor Swift has released. <laughs> like Whoa. me exists. Haters. <laughs> Let's be for real, like you like all Actually, of them. Like you I like them all a little bit. Okay, that's true. Like you no. can if you Me heard the song, butter. if you heard the song play, you're gonna sing it. That's not true. I'm not I'm not saying that you're saying that. Me. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually you're so valid about that because I bopped to me. I'm not gonna lie. What's the what's the reputation song with Ed Sheeran and is it future? Is oh, it Endgame? Oh, Endgame. Endgame. I fucking hate that what? song. Wow. Oh my no. god. Ra oh Taylor, my god. Ra like Taylor rap Taylor yeah, rap era. Taylor's she ate that out. Song. <laughs> Taylor rapping Taylor. is so good. What's your Christmas so tree Shopper. song too? Hate Christmas that song. Christmas tree phone? Yeah. Okay, that's where I disagree. That's why her home. I, how do you guys feel about like vigilante shit? What? I'm. That's 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 yeah. It's ten out of it's ten. Like I don't, but it's I don't like love her. I, on tour. It's a skip. The dance. A skip? It's a skip. It's a skip. It's a skip. Okay, on tour she was giving no, you sexy. On tour, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She drops yeah. her ass right. on the sea. At certain points in my life, when things come out, I'm not ready for them fully. Like That's when fair. when folklore and Evermore dropped during COVID, it was before I got my heart absolutely destroyed, so I didn't relate as much. But now, like two of my favorite albums, I tend to like more the music side, not the lyric side. Yeah. And so for Taylor's stuff, like it's so lyrically strong yeah. that I have to kind of sit with it before I can really exactly. say if I like it or not. Mm -hmm. But with those two albums, it was like instant. It was the only thing I listened to during uh, COVID. I just think vigilante shit was written about Adam. That's that's my hit. <laughs> How do you guys feel about me? 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 Yeah. They said me, and then I was like, like hang on. I think the production on me is what I don't like. I think the lyrics are like fine, and yeah. I've heard like. When she sings it on the piano, it's yeah. good. Yeah. On the piano yeah. would be kind of good. Yeah. I don't like Welcome to New York. That's the Yeah, one. I don't like I don't that one like either. either. It's like my least okay, favorite. Okay, but listening to that on like the subway and you're 16. Yeah. That's a really kind hot of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a big deal. Listening to that okay. when you're flying to New York. Yeah, you're 16. You're like going to a Broadway show. <laughs> <Yeah>. like, <laughs> Situational. I've never been to New York, so maybe I, I just know. don't get it. <laughs> Taylor Swift is a witch, and that's a bad thing. Oh. 
How much further can we go? <laughs> no one thinks Taylor's a witch? Are people no, no. We don't Wait. think it's a bad thing. Okay, it's a bad thing. thing. What if I just said she's a witch? She's a witch. She's not a witch in the way Stevie Nicks is a witch. Okay. Yeah. So I guess I'm still here. Tess was a witch. Yeah. I interpret that as like, do her songs sound like spells? <laughs> Which I don't, maybe that's not the way you should be interpreting it, but if you told me who is a witch and who's an artist, I'm thinking Stevie Nicks. The way that her songs sound and her lyrics just give me such, they could be spells. Maybe lyrically, Taylor Swift could be a witch, but I don't think musically she's a witch. I will say she did look a little witchy during Evermore set. Yeah. Like with right, the right. pumpkins the and moving. I was like, this looks very... I'm, I'm being taken Evermore gives me witch, that's why I'm here. Yeah. yeah. I feel like she confirmed it in Willow music video as well. Like, she's a witch and that's okay. But what makes it okay to be a witch? Isn't being a witch a bad thing? No. Says who? who yeah, who's saying that? According to? Yeah. Which is all of history? Which is oh, witches, witches like, are bad, aren't okay, they? Okay, if, if we look, it, right, if we look back at it, like the Salem witch trials, I was about to say, they, were, Salem witch trials they, or, they were wrongfully accused. They were just girls. <laughs> they were just girls. Yeah. Yeah. Which is an acronym for a woman in total control of herself as well. There That's awesome. I've oh, yeah. never heard yeah. that before. I'm here for it. There you go. I like that. So is the question, is Taylor Swift a witch? Okay. Then I'm going back. <laughs> <laughs> is she a witch? In the best way possible. I don't think it necessarily means like her lyrics sound like witchy or anything, but I just think like her she's attitude, just, she's, she's just, just like a bad bitch. She's just giving witch. Which gives me witch, yeah. you know? I feel like maybe a witch in like a manifesting like playful way, not in like an evil way. Mm -hmm. Like you said, that has a negative connotation and I don't see Taylor in that way. I don't think witch is a negative connotation like ever, really. Right. Ever. I feel like if anyone says like a girl is a witch, witch, I'm like out. slay, like I love that. <laughs> I mean, have you guys ever played like Sims? There was a one expansion pack that was like witches and werewolves. I made everybody a witch. <laughs> I love them. I want to make a Taylor Swift sim witch now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Invite me. <laughs> Taylor Swift is the reincarnation of Xena LaVey. Give us who Xena oh, LaVey is. I've seen this. I've seen this. I've seen this. She was like a Satanist. I've seen her. Oh. I've seen she was a Satanist that I like died or revoked her power in the year 1989. Oh. What? Wow. And she looks exactly like Taylor Swift. <laughs> this yeah. is her. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Ain't no way. Wait. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Are you sure? Ain't no way. <laughs> That's her. I'm just finding out about this conspiracy theory today, but I'm sold. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> they look so like. That's crazy. I can believe in reincarnation, sure. I mean, if she's a Satanist, call me a worshiper. Like, I don't. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I'm on my knees. Right, yeah. Just because she's a reincarnation of a Satanist doesn't mean that it's now like she's a Satanist, Satanist right yeah. now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it's like low key. Right. It's and I, honestly, kind, kind of kind of bad here. What's wrong with that? Right. What about it? <laughs> I feel like she's been reincarnated from someone because Taylor Swift is a little bit too powerful right now. Like if you think of Taylor, you think he's like too famous at this point. Like mm -hmm. the masses right. surrounding her. I just can't fathom the thought of like. Yeah, like, how did you get to that point? Like, is this even possible anymore? Technically, she's running how a cult. How much further are we gonna go? Right, yeah. this is a cult. We're, we're a part of a cult, and I'm happy to be a part of it. She does look like her in that photo, but there's also some other photos where she doesn't look as similar to her. I mean, just a white blonde lady with blue eyes and red lipstick on. We're like, that's Taylor. I think she would do something like this. Like, she would find a way to reincarnate herself and <laughs> do this whole mastermind plan, but I don't know. And that also gives haters more ammo against her, like, she's a Satanist. That's more fun though. <laughs> I love when they hate because then you can always fight back. Just yeah. love a good fight. Defending mother. Yeah. Defending mother. Defending mom. <laughs> Taylor, if I will. <laughs> Lover is Taylor Swift's worst album. Wow. What do you think her worst album is? <laughs> Debut. Uh, Debut? I agree, yeah. kind of. <laughs> I do. But that makes sense because it's like, she just started writing music. Like, it was her she debut. Yeah. I, I, she had much know. better albums. <laughs> <than Yeah. laughs> Taylor didn't it even like debut. debut. <laughs> That's when she, she cut it off the Eras tour. She, oh. she performs <laughs> nothing from it. Death by a Thousand Cuts is on there, so. Yeah. yeah. Right. I simply can't go over there. Right. For that reason. Cruel that Summer, reason. hello. Yeah. Archer, Daylight. Daylight. I don't know about those last two. 
I felt that way for a little bit, but I don't think it's a gutter album. It's like, a there's no part of me that's like, yeah. Like I feel like if we're gonna rank them, it's usually at the bottom for me. But I'm not like okay. spitting on yeah. it. The very bottom <laughs> is you know? crazy. Yeah. What if, what if what if we took debut out of it? Where would you guys go? Oh, uh, still over here. <laughs> then what if not <laughs> debut? Yeah, I I'd move. <laughs> if we took here. debut out of it, I'd move. Probably here. Um. I don't love Reputation, which I know is a really hot take. I also really dislike Red. I don't know why what? I don't like Red. <laughs> okay, your opinion's not valid anymore. What? I don't know. Okay, I have one friend whose favorite album is Red, and we've gotten into many arguments about this. But what don't you like? Yeah, what don't you like? It's such a messy album. Like, it makes All no the sense. I 22 hate, versus... I hate this. I hate 22. I don't like We Are Never Getting Back Together. I knew you were trouble. I think they're all bad singles. But State of but Grace. I love, is I love on State there. of Grace. I love Begin Again. <laughs> the all last too time. Well. I like that song as well. Do you think it's I because like those songs were so popular that we like heard them so much and that they were like all you'd hear from Taylor? Yeah. I just if it's not like a very cohesive album and it's it's very very poppy in like a way that I don't like. It's transitional in a weird way. Yeah. It's experimental for her. So for that I have to give it props. And there's a lot of songs on that album that I really like. Reputation. It's hard because I think it's one of her best tours. I didn't actually see the tour, but the, like, the Netflix special made me appreciate that album way more than when I initially heard it. But I just kind of feel like it's not where she shines. Like The elements of that album are not really her strong suits. And I very much so appreciate her stepping into this more experimental role and like doing music that she doesn't typically do. But it's just so frustrating to me that that album is so clearly influenced by Kanye and Calvin Harris's music. She'll like dip her toes into other genres, but I wish she would just get producers that have experience with hip hop or EDM and have those producers help her collaborate on her music. Cause she just uses the same team over and over and over again. And it just sounds Jack, like though? she's yeah. LARPing Jack, as like other genres. It's also like, I feel like she's cosplaying. Reputation yeah. came out way too late. It's an album that sounds like 2012 yeah. and an album that came out in 2017 in a way that I just, I, I do like, but I just think she's never had like her finger on the pulse of like, what can propel music forward. I think that yes. is so evident I agree. with Reputation. I agree. She's not really a trailblazer in the sense of like sonically speaking. I don't think her music is, when it comes out as anything revolutionary. I think when you look at her career as like a, a real whole, Swifty? and right. everything that she's done. No, I'm, I'm listening to everything you're saying. She's revolutionary in like the business side of the music industry and like culturally, but I think her music itself, outside of her lyrics, I think her lyrics are amazing. She's always she's one step She's not the behind. best of all time on the production side of stuff, but that's a really hot take. I Sorry, kind of, Swifties everywhere. <laughs> I just disagree with you only because I love Taylor so much to the point where like, her albums are in reflection of her life. So if you like really look at reputation and think of like where she was at the time and like who she was dating, what she was dealing with, beginning to end, no skips. Yeah, it, it's yeah. so like you can really like see in like a glimpse of like what she was feeling at the time. And it was like her naughty era. Like she was with Bleachella. One, yeah, she was with, with a guy but real. felt feelings for another guy. The complexity of like loving two people and like one being a fling. I want to hide away from the world, but I want to run away with someone. Not saying you said this, but I think like if anything, Taylor is like very far from generic, right? And just like agreeing with you, I do feel like, like dancing with our hands tied. Y'all, that song has me at a chokehold. That whole situation there with how she felt with like, she doesn't want to be with Joe because she doesn't want to like put him in this position, da 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 da. The vulnerability is kind of lost behind the production because it's so sonically mm -hmm. crazy, I mm -hmm. guess. But. The fact that she still wrote about it, released it and everything, I just think it's like a lot of artists don't do that. A lot of artists stick to the very generic route and re release mm -hmm. things that are like commercial for the public. But even if her song sounds very like oh, poppy, da -da 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 -da, what she's saying is, is super, super real. And I guess it does go back to like the lyrics. Yeah, but um, sonically, I do think that album is pretty general. I actually don't think it's that complex of an album. If you compare it to like the genres that are there, it's inspired by like. Right, but I think mixing lyrics like that with a production like that is kind of like a wild take and kind of risky to do. Mm -hmm. And I think she did it really well. I wish she would step out of her sphere of people that she yeah, creates sure. with. I feel like she's never really getting outside influences and getting like outside opinions yeah. on how she can enhance yeah. her music. But it's like she can never win because people say 
she sh needs to stop trying new things. She needs to like stick to what she knows. Like when Rep came out, obviously everyone's like, yeah. this is like so different for her. But then she's too boring. All of her music sounds the same, whatever. It's like, mm -hmm. I feel like she can just never win. I honestly feel like like with Reputation, we have Endgame, like you're talking about, you hate Endgame, but we have Endgame, then we also have like Delicate. We have like, Delicate's good. Such I feel like there's a lot of diversity and kind of like you're talking about, like imagine Delicate, but instead of being produced on Rep, it's like an Evermore folklore song. It's like, right. those lyrics are still, just as deep and meaningful as a different song. She was saying that she feels like Taylor isn't like on the pulse of like newer music. It's very like retrospective, but I, I agree with you like a little bit on that, except with 1989, I do feel like she kind of started the whole like 80s synth yeah, like I agree. pop sound. And she did in that album specifically, like purposely worked with uh, new producers, which I do think worked in her favor. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do kind of. It was Max Martin, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, and that was the first time she worked with Jack Antonoff, I think. Yes. that album. Mm -hmm. There are times and she never got rid yeah. of him. There are moments though <laughs> where I so I think this is controversial with Swifties. I sometimes wish she would not always collaborate with Jack. Yeah. Like yeah. I I like I like I like Jack. Like Jack. I like Jack, but she uses him all the time. She uses him a and lot. And that makes it sound like it makes some of her music kind of sound mm -hmm. similar. Yeah. Have you guys have you guys seen have you guys not seen the getaway car riding the bridge sequence? Uh, I have, yeah. I'm talking about her like she's my friend because I feel like she is, but I feel like she's just really comfortable working with Jack and But that's the problem is that she's comfortable. Like she needs to step out of her comfort zone to push her music. But at the same time, you were saying like she's trying too many new things and dipping her toes into things. It's not the experimentation that I have a problem okay. with. Like I love that she she tries, but I think her she tries. I think her her effort I don't want to say her effort could be better because that just feels so mean and not what I really like am trying to say. Yeah, yeah. But no, uh, I think that she can use like other tools, whether they're instruments or, mm -hmm. or people that have more expertise in those yeah. areas to help her. Or even like folklore, like really was beneficial from the guy from the National and um, ooh, someone else. Too. Oh, Bon Iver was involved, I think, in some capacity, yeah, and like yeah. that really shows. And I think like her chameleon aspects really come out in a way where in Midnight's, I was kind of annoyed by how she kind of like speaks like Jack Antonoff at times in ooh, it, and yeah. she very much like. Yeah, like she has like a little dun, 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 thing going on, and that's really also evident in folklore, where she sings very much like the national in a way that I don't even think that's a bad thing or a good thing. I just think it's an aspect of her. I love folklore. It took me a minute with Evermore, because I felt like at first, I don't feel this way anymore, but at first I felt like Evermore was like the things that couldn't have made it onto folklore. Before, yeah. um, and then I like I kept I listening, be. and eventually I, I do disagree with that. Sometimes I mm -hmm. like Evermore a little bit more even. Like the outtakes, the yeah. vault, it's like the vault. But yeah, it took me like, it took me a second. I'm not really like a slow music mm -hmm. person, me too. but once it finally hits, like it, it right. That's yeah, what I said, you get, you get your heart broken or like the autum changes, seasonal oppression oh, yeah. starts kicking, it's like folklore is on. I'm not gonna lie though. <laughs> folklore first listen, I remember where I was exactly. I remember who I was speaking to exactly. And I audibly laughed. <laughs> I don't know why, but when Betty started playing and I heard the I was dead. I was like, when what? you hear that harmonica kick in, you're like, like who I, is she? I, I was like, what is who? <laughs> and then I was just, I honestly, I did not, I was like, mm, this is kind of, no, 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 no. But then, second listen, I'm like, wait, we're getting somewhere, y'all. We're getting somewhere. And then, maybe like three, four in, I'm like, wait, I'm a diehard Swifty. This, this is, is the it. best album this ever. Yeah. And I just think it goes back to the point we made early on is that sometimes you just gotta cook. You just gotta let Taylor's album let cook a little bit, let it simmer a little bit, and then it's gonna hit when it hits. And Evermore as well, I'm not gonna lie. This is <laughs> back then, I only listened to Evermore in full once, and that was when it was released. But then, before the Eras tour, before the Eras tour, I'm like, wait, I need to give this girl a chance because like 40 minutes of her set is ever more apparently. And I was like, hold on, let me, let me, let me and retract. Then back in. And then I'm like, whoa, hold on. Wait, she was kind of revolutionary with this. Yeah, Evermore is amazing. It's, it's, I mean, it's not better than yeah. folklore, but. I am proud to be a Swifty. <laughs> 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 I just feel like saying you're a Swifty is like, it's tough. Like, it's you like can't, you can't like... put that in your dating profile. You can't like lead with that in most situations. So 
I'm like a secret Swifty. There's other music I really like too as well. Do you think it's negativity around Taylor or around her fan base? I would say the fan base, but also I feel like I encounter so many like coastal elites that read like one article in 2016 about why Taylor Swift is problematic yeah. and it's like still in their brain. And I'm like, I can't tell you that you need to like move on. Yeah, the only reason I wouldn't be a full yes is more so because of the toxicity around the fandom and not Taylor herself. Because uh, I have no shame in saying I love her and her music. Uh, it's just, sometimes Swifties do some things that makes it a little tough. Right, 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 right. <laughs> to be like, I am a Swiftie loud and proud. <laughs> I'm loud and proud Swiftie. I'm not the one to like partake in like beef online just because there's a track record. Mm -hmm. But in, <laughs> I, I, no, no receipts, but in person, I think because I'm also, I guess 2020 would be a newest Swifty. Um, I would say I still have the capacity in me if I'm with somebody in real life to be like, okay, this is why you're wrong. And this is why she is the greatest artist ever. Like I have the energy to do that. I don't know. I feel like I've just been in this community for so long. And before I even like knew what a Swifty was, I just feel like I've had a lot of positivity and I feel so much love. Like I remember going to the tour seeing like an old woman and a little seven-year-old girl trading bracelets, like the fun of the community and encapsulating everyone. I was a huge Swifty during the Kanye and Kim drama. Everyone was hating on her and shitting on her all the time and I stood up proud and I feel like that made me, like no one can hurt me anymore because I lived through. Right, right, right. I lived through the snake era. Yeah, you need a purple um, heart for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like the idea that the stigma around it is like, when I tell people, oh, my favorite artist is Taylor Swift, you're basic. You're basic, yeah. everyone likes her. It's not so so much so basic, it's just so much more as like, she's so big and she attracts so many people to different genres that like, how can you not love her? I'm a full Swifty just because there's never been a bad video of her with a fan. Everything that she does is for the fans. Mm -hmm. She's always thanking us like, why wouldn't you want to support someone that fully supports you? I think that the whole like uh, Miss Americana documentary to me leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth in terms of like, political like activism yeah. <laughs> i feel like she it's promised propaganda. something that she never really like followed through on but i however was in the trenches of reputation mm -hmm. and everyone hated we her and i Re reputation is my favorite album and i tried so hard to defend her and so now i feel like you know the pendulum has like really swung and i'm like i don't want to go back in the uh, secret Swifty closet. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I've so, come out as Swifty now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all so much yeah. for watching. Do all Swifties think the same? And we will see you next time. Thank you, Swifties. Woo! Yeah.